Hi everybody, this is the Math 10C Exponents and Radicals Review, and this is short answer 10. We're going to rewrite each power here as a radical, so this makes this essentially the, the opposite of the previous question. So when we take a look at this power here, we've got a rational exponent. Remember that the numerator continues to be the power on the x, but the denominator is the root index of the corresponding radical. So this is going to be the fourth root of x cubed. Now it turns out there's another way of doing this because, because order of operations in this sense doesn't really matter. Uh, you could do, for example, this could be the fourth root of x and you could cube the final result. Either one of those is, is totally acceptable. It doesn't matter. Although I think most of you would just write it like this anyway. This next one right here, x to the one-fifth. Well, notice that the numerator is just one and that's, that is the power on the base there, in which case it's just one. It's not doing anything. But the five here is the root index. So this is the fifth root of x. And there's not really much else that can be done. That's it. Over here, We've got x to the 8 over 6. Now, there is something you should do here first. Okay, that exponent there can be simplified. Okay, there's a common factor of 2 between the 8 and the 6, so you should write this as 4 thirds. In which case, the exponent on the, ra on the base is going to be 4, the power is going to be 4, and the corresponding root index is going to be 3. So this will be the cube root of x to the 4th, or if you want, it's going to be the cube root of x all to the fourth. Now, what's important about this is that this actually could be simplified a little bit here. Um, and I'm going to start from here. This is the cube root of x to the fourth, which is x times x times x times x. There's four of them in there. And I might be kind of reaching ahead a little bit in this, in this chapter, but that's okay. A cube root what a cube root asks us to do is to take a group of three factors there, and for every group of three, I write a single representative out front. So this actually could be written as x times the cube root. Well, I took a representative out front of the, of the radical for those three, but I still had an x left over, and I'm stuck with that x inside there. And so that's me going just a little bit further with this specific question.